So in this case, as we consider as a continuation, we are going to be focusing on the classification of the quadrilaterals, which is uh, working with the uh, four-sided shapes. This time we are dealing with uh, four-sided shapes, meaning to say we also have uh, four angles. Remember, we managed to have our 2D shapes concept of our quadrilaterals from our grade 8 mathematics. I mentioned each and every property on its own. So in this case, we're just going to consider a review, a revision, and adding one or two of the properties maybe we did not mention when we were in our grade 8. So these quadrilaterals, guys, before we say that we can uh, subdivide them into the parallelograms, which are the ones that have got uh, a pair of what? Parallel sides. That is a parallelogram. It is giving us other shapes. On its own, yes, it's a, it's a quadrilateral. But here, we can obtain other shapes, which has similar properties, like I mentioned before. And these are a rhombus. So we can actually say a rhombus is a parallelogram. A rectangle is also part of these. And we also consider a square. They have properties of what? of a parallelogram, which is a quadrilateral in which opposite sides are what? Parallel. A quadrilateral in which opposite sides are parallel. So these, they have properties similar to that parallelogram from what? The opposite sides which are being what? Uh, parallel. But each will be having its own basic properties, like uh, we said or mentioned before. All right. Then we also have a trapezium. Is has nothing to do with these shapes. A trapezium. It has nothing to do with a parallelogram. Only one pair. Only one pair of parallel sides will be given. That's the consideration. Here, we'll be having two pairs. Here, two pairs. Of what? All right, opposite sides, let's just say, so that we do not uh, miss this part. But it's two pairs. Which is, we're talking of what? Opposite sides. Being what? Parallel. But on a trapezium, it's only one pair that is being what? Parallel. So a trapezium has no property from a parallelogram. We do not classify it under a parallelogram, just like what we talked about, a rhombus, a rectangle, and a square. We also have a kite. It has nothing Similar to a parallelogram, a trapezium, nothing. That's a kite. The only thing that we can talk about these is that their interior angles, the sum of the interior angles is 360 degrees. Whether it's a trapezium, it's a kite, it's a parallelogram. Anyone, as long as it's a four-sided shape. So, guys, four-sided shape, don't, don't be, uh, uh, in, in most cases, when you look into the diagram, don't be afraid of the diagrams. As long as it's a four-sided shape, interior angles will be equal to one eight. As long as it's a four-sided shape, you can have something like this. Something like this. It's a four-sided shape. One, two, three, four. This one is a point here. So these are sides. This one is not a triangle. 
It's a four-sided ship. These are the ones that we are referring to. So without wasting time, guys, this one is just a revision because we had this one in our grade eight before. So I'm just going to quickly uh, rush through these properties that we are given. So a parallelogram, as we said, Two pairs of opposite sides are parallel. Two pairs. Considering what? The opposite sides. They are not just parallel, but parallel and equal. So opposite sides, they will be parallel and equal at the same time. Uh, these two will be parallel and equal. Then another part is on the diagonals. They bisect each other. If we draw a, a, a diagonal from this one, this point like this, these diagonals, they bisect each other, meaning to say this diagonal is divided into two equal parts. From here to here, it is the same as from here to here, into two equal parts. This diagonal from this point to this point, it is the same as from this point to this point, equal in length. That is, the diagonals are, they bisect each other. All right? A rectangle. We have, again, two pairs of opposite sides equal in length and parallel to each other. And all angles are equal to 90 degrees. That's each interior angle this time is 90 degrees. The diagonals bisect each other just like what we saw on a parallelogram. Diagonals bisect each other. And on a rectangle, these diagonals are equal in length. On a rectangle, diagonals are equal. Diagonals are equal in length. As we consider what? A rectangle. So these are the properties. Basic properties. You go to a square. Same concept. But this time it is that all of the sides will be equal. Are you saying it is same properties of a parallelogram? The sides being parallel, but only this time, the sides will be equal in length and each interior will be 90 degrees. So two pairs of opposite sides are parallel and all sides are what? Equal in length. All angles are equal to 90 degrees, each angle. Then the diagonals bisect each other. Not just that bisecting like what we saw on a rectangle. They will be perpendicular at 90 degrees. So they bisect each other at 90 degrees. And these diagonals are equal in length. Diagonals are equal in length on a square. Just like on a rectangle. Just like what we have on a rectangle. So we see, guys, these properties are very, very important. We move to a rhombus. One of the parallelograms, again, just like a square. Just like a rhombus. Where we have got two pairs of what? Parallel sides, opposite sides. And they are all equal, these sides, just like what we saw on a square. So it's just similar to a square. All sides are equal in what? In length. The diagonals, they bisect each other and perpendicular. They bisect each other and what? Perpendicular to each other at 90 degrees, just like on a square. So this is just a recap, guys. Then you go to a trapezium. Remember your trapezium? It is one pair of what? Opposed sides that are parallel. Only one pair. 
So from that, we know angles because of this, this line becomes a transverse, transversal line. So we form the C angles. Remember, core interior angles. Supplementary, add up to 180. So if it is A, B, C, D like this, angle A and angle B, supposed to give us what? 180 degrees. Core interior angles. Angle C and angle B. And angle D and angle C, I mean, core interior again. So the angle C plus the angle D must give us what? 180 degrees. These are properties. So know each and every property. Revise also your grade 8 because there are some properties that we mentioned there. Revise all of them. We also have a kite. Where two pairs of adjacent sides are equal. Adjacent sides are equal. Two pairs. And the diagonals are perpendicular to each other. They do not bisect each other. No, no, no. They are just perpendicular at 90 degrees. But they do not bisect each other. But it follows that the angle between, let's say this is A, this is B, this is C, this is D. The angles that are between the sides which are not equal. The angle B, this one, between the sides which are not equal, A, B, is not equal to B, C. These, these two, they are not equal. The angle between this one and the angle also on D, between what? The sides which are not equal, A, D, and D, C. They are not equal, those ones. The angles in between. Angle B and angle D, they are equal, these ones. Angle B is equal to angle D. So we have one pair of opposite angles equal. One pair of what? Opposite angles. One pair of opposite angles are equal. That is the one that we are talking about there. It's only one pair, B and D. So how do you see them? Angles which are between what? The sides which are not equal. Remember, there are sides which are equal. A, B equal to A, D. There's an angle there. Not this one. Not that one. Not this one between equal, no. Between unequal sides. So B and D, uh, these are angles uh, between... Angles formed, formed between what? Angles formed between unequal sides. Unequal. Take note, the sides which are not equal. A, B is not equal to B, C. The angle between, that is the one that you take. AD is not equal to DC, the angle in between. So they are included angles of what? From non-equal sides. Included angles from non-equal sides. So that, that's how you see that part which is equal. A and C, they are not equal to these ones. A and C, they are not. So please be very, very careful. How to notice the angles that are equal. How to notice them. So after this, do as many questions as you can. You know, now you know the property of each. You know the property of each of the quadrilaterals. So with this information, with your grade 8 information, you can answer as many questions as you can. So we're going to meet in another class uh, working with uh, typical questions, how you might be given uh, these questions. Till we meet again.